Hello beautiful warriors. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I know that I didn't get to post a video last week. I am currently working on a project for Tamed Wild for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram and haven't been getting the announcements. So yeah, so I wanted to come on here today and definitely talk about this amazing beautiful lunar eclipse that we're having in Gemini. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure that you do because I post every single week unless I'm doing something for Tamed Wild or something. <laughs> um, I post every single week about astrology and spirituality and self-development, so definitely make sure that you go ahead and subscribe and you hit the bell so you get notified of when I post. So let's dive into this chart because it's super juicy. And I know I say that for every chart, but that's because I think every chart's juicy. <laughs> But this one's really juicy. So we're taking a look at the lunar eclipse happening. It's a partial lunar eclipse happening in Gemini. And the sun is in Sagittarius. Now, the moon being in Gemini, Gemini is a very logical sort of energy. It has a lot to do with the mind. It likes logic. It likes facts. It likes to bounce ideas off of people. It's a very busy energy, right? It's ruled by Mercury, which is the god of the messengers. And so it has a lot to do with communication, receiving messages, delivering messages, and Sagittarius is a very different kind of energy. They're opposites, right? Um, whenever we have a full moon, it's really the moon in opposition of the sun. And so Sagittarius is a very different kind of energy. It's a fire sign. It has a lot to do with um, adventuring and exploring and traveling and kind of like going outside of your comfort zone. And it's really the seeker of truth. You know, it travels metaphorically and physically, right? I've been talking about this a lot on my Instagram. If so, basically, it's a metaphorical and physical sense of traveling for Sagittarius in order to gain wisdom and spiritual truth. It's a very spiritual sign, but not like Pisces, in which it's kind of like the surrender uh, and merge with spirit kind of energy. Sagittarius is more so uh, acquiring wisdom and philosophy, and it, it is a mystic, but it's from like a guru kind of kind of place. And so it really represents like where we're supposed to kind of like leave our comfort zone and adventure outside of our comfort zone in order to really expand spiritually and gain truth and wisdom and knowledge about ourselves. It's a really beautiful, powerful energy. But Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, which is the planet of expansion. It just expands you. And I said this on my Instagram the other day. I quoted Einstein, who said, somebody who is open to a, a new thought, the mind cannot go back to its original dimensions. It's some sort of variation of that. I can't remember word for word what it was. <laughs> but it's some variation of that. And that's how we are very spiritually too, you know, like once we sort of expand beyond our comfort zone and we challenge ourselves spiritually, then, you know, we, we don't really go back to our original dimensions. We've really just, our soul has grown, you know, our soul has expanded and evolved. And that's really what Sagittarius is after is the expansion of consciousness. So a lot of beautiful energy playing out here now with you know, with the, the moon in Gemini, like I said before, that that's an air sign. It has a lot to do with the mind. And right now is a great time. Like if you're planning to sort of like do any sort of physical or metaphorical travel, whether that's literally traveling to another country, or maybe you're like thinking about dabbling in astral traveling, uh, just to sort of expand your spiritual horizon. If you're kind of like looking to challenge your comfort zone and step out of that, now is a great time to sort of bounce ideas off of people that you love, friends, and just kind of like get their, uh, you know, get their feedback, people that you trust, people that you feel safe around, people who uh, whose opinions and outlooks you really resonate with and trust. It's a great time to bounce ideas off of people and uh, and just kind of communicate and talk about what it is that your heart is kind of looking to experience. So, uh, so very beautiful energy here. There's a lot of really great opportunity for connection around the next step that you want to make in your life and including people in on that journey around, 
uh, yeah, this, this, these pivotal sort of moments, uh, because if you think about it, the lunar eclipse is always a, it's a symbol of change. It asks us to change. It asks us to shift. It's not a, a normal full moon that we have here. You know, the lunar eclipse is really all about change and, uh, and shifting, uh, for, for our highest and our greatest good. And so, so lots of that energy sort of happening here. The North Node is also in Gemini, which says that, you know, it's kind of time to to do the uncomfortable thing. It's another placement in the chart that is asking us to do the uncomfortable thing, right? Whatever that is for you, and it can bring up a lot of fear. Mercury is in Scorpio right now. And so because of that, there can be, and with the moon in Gemini, there can be a lot of uh, tendency to overthink and overplan and think way too much about the logic and trying to figure it out. Mercury in, in Scorpio wants to control. Uh, it wants to be in power. It wants to really feel in control. And so this is a, a really beautiful lesson because, because there's this beautiful lesson playing out in the chart where, you know, it's, it's kind of like we want to step into this big thing and then that creates all this sort of like fear, you know, like fear comes up around doing this, stepping outside your comfort zone because it takes courage and it takes bravery to do that. And that is the energy and the, and the journey of Sagittarius and Mercury and Scorpio is all about like kind of, it, it can bring about fear when, you know, we get in our minds a lot and we want to control. So, so yeah, really stepping outside of the comfort zone, facing the fear, but then also noticing when you're overthinking, noticing when you're trying to figure everything out, when really you just need to be surrendering to spirit. And there's, there's got to be kind of like a balance between that. There's got to be a balance between, you know, gathering all of the information, gathering all of the facts in order to make your big move, and also really allowing spirit to guide you. Neptune is uh, is at play here, and that's why I'm bringing this up. So yeah, so there's got to be this balance between, um, you know, kind of planning and getting all of the the thoughts and the information and, you know, um, and all of that, but also surrendering to spirit, you know, don't get too in your mind trying to plan that and and the fear can cause that like notice when you you're uh feeding into the fear notice when you're overthinking because of the fear and replace those thoughts with thoughts that will help you surrender so if you're looking to step outside your comfort zone and expand but you're having fears around well what if i fail then replace that thought with what if i succeed you know so we're, I mean, we're talking about Mercury and Gemini here. Like this is all about like thought patternings and, and, and the mind, you know, it's really kind of confronting what's happening in the mind that is preventing you from actually stepping outside of your comfort zone and doing the uncomfortable thing and experiencing adventure, experiencing the juiciness of life. Because this is actually kind of like a big check-in. This is, this, this can be a really big check-in with yourself because you know, Mercury is also uh, making communication with this energy in Capricorn. And, you know, the energy in Capricorn, I've brought it up multiple times in past videos. This has really been challenging us to take a look at our foundations in life and, and rebuild foundations that aren't making sense for us. And this is tying into it. It's like, it's, it's kind of really asking you to take a look at what is your life about? when you leave this earth, what do you want to feel? Like, do you, you, you want to feel that like you, you lived, you stayed true to your path. You lived a life that was true to you, true to your path. You stepped outside your comfort zone. You did the hard things and you received all of the spiritual rewards for doing that. And and that's really what's kind of in question here is like it's kind of making an aspect to that energy around, well, what exactly is your life about? Like what stepping outside of your comfort zone to do the uncomfortable thing. Um, when I talk about that, I'm talking about this like bigger picture sort of thing. Like Sagittarius is a very big picture kind of energy. 
in the bigger picture, in the grand scheme of your life, what is your life about? What do you want to build? What do you want to focus on? That's really what I'm talking about here. So it's a very big picture sort of way of thinking where you have to sort of evaluate where you are in your life and to decide if that feels like it's true to your calling, your heart's calling and your path and, and, you know, really assess if like you've been having these desires in your heart to go explore something, to, to get your hands dirty in something and, and, and gain wisdom and gain deeper understanding of yourself and the world and, and how you're here to offer healing and offer teachings in your own kind of way. So really, really beautiful energy. The lunar eclipse is a, a, an amazing opportunity for change. It's an amazing opportunity for shifting. And it's a, a great time to really just take a look at the thought patterning that is preventing you from really stepping outside of your comfort zone, really taking a look at the fears that are preventing you from embarking on the journey, right? We're talking about Sagittarius. Sagittarius embarks on a spiritual journey to attain wisdom. What is it in your life that is blocking you from doing that? What are the fears? What are the belief systems, right? Again, again, we're talking about Sagittarius, which has a lot to do with belief systems. So what are the belief systems, the thoughts, the behaviors, the fears? What are all, what is that cocktail that has been preventing you from staying true to your path and staying true to your journey? and then redirect. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you share it with anybody who you feel like sharing it with. Comments, again, sub subscribe activity on my videos always helps my channel grow. And so I really appreciate when you guys interact with me. I also love hearing from you and hearing about your own journeys and how things show up for you. Whenever I talk about the astrology, it's always so interesting to me. And, um, and yeah, I hope to see you guys for the next video. Let me know in the comments below where Sagittarius and where Gemini falls in your chart. And let me know what's kind of coming up for you after you have listened to this video. Thanks guys. I'll see you for the next one.